Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sarah Star, and look at these balloons. It is so fun, you guys. Look, it's like balloon cave. I love it. So let's go walk underneath them. It's like kind of fun. <laughs> look at all this. I feel like I'm at like a party, you guys, but I'm at Dollar Tree. This is so much fun. See, it's like, I love it. So I want to show you. <laughs> Okay, look at all these. There's bees, there's bears, there's a shark that says totally jossum. There's a cute little dinosaur. Let me go through all of these. Like literally, I am going through the string. I'll show you guys. All right, you guys, I want to show you here to some of the cute, cute... Easter decor they have. Some of the stuff is new that I didn't see last year. Uh, so I want to show you they have the Happy Easter. I think he was here last year. So cute. And then they have the blue truck hauling the carrots. So adorable. I want to show you that. And then also the Happy Easter with the eggs. So cute. Like the hot pink with the Easter eggs. It says Happy Easter. They also have the these cute signs that say Happy Easter. They look like that wood plank. And also Happy Easter in um, blue glitter. And then also in pink glitter up there. So cute. And then these look like a cutting board. It says Fresh Carrots, Cottontail Farms. And this one says Cottontail Egg Farm. It's so cute. All this stuff is so cute. And then look at this, Cottontail Farms open this way. Um, so I want to show you these. Oh, they have two different uh, signs. And then this cute little bunny, little bunny tail coming out of the car or the truck. He's eating some carrots or something. <laughs> it's really cute. Happy Easter. And it's a blue truck. And then the pink truck, same thing. And then they have these. I'm like under all these balloons right now. It's so much fun. Um, oh, follow the bunny. He has chocolate. That's so cute. The hunt is on. Oh, that's so cute. And then they have Easter crafts. And then look at these. How adorable are these? These are holding carrots. They're like little yard sticks. And then this one is holding like a little bunny. This one's a little different than the other one. And then they also have another yardsticks that say Happy Easter. It's the truck again. And really cute carrot uh, stick yardsticks. So yeah, lots of cute, cute signs. So I'm going to keep looking, but I wanted to show you my carts right there. <laughs> I'm in the web of all these um, balloons but yeah it's so much fun hi everybody welcome back to my channel it's me sarah star thank you so very much for being here so today's video is going to be dollar tree so i went to dollar tree today and i'm not sure if i'm going to include the video footage um, if it works out in the video i will put it ahead of where i'm talking here and you've already seen it um, if not i may do a different video walkthrough of it just depends on how um, long this video is i might um, you know, so this video isn't too long. I might add that to a separate video. Um, but either way, you guys, it was so much fun going into Dollar Tree today because when I walked in there, the balloons, there were hundreds of helium balloons up in the air. Um, you'll probably see it as my screenshot of, or, you know, my thumbnail for this video because it was so cool to see you guys. It was so, so fun to see. So, um, it was like, I don't know. I just had a great time. So, Anyway, so I ended up buying two helium balloons and Valentine balloons, and then um, I will show you the rest of the stuff. So I guess I'll go ahead and start with the balloons. So they're right here. You guys, they, they had all over the store balloons, like blown up, and it was so exciting. And um, it just felt very, very Valentine-y. <laughs> um, There's like hearts everywhere. It was so, so cute. So uh, they said I could actually place an order to pick up if I wanted. Um, because I was like, well, do you think there's going to be any left on Sunday for Valentine's Day? And they said they don't, they don't know. But 
um, that I could always place an order and then just pick it up on Valentine's Day. But I ended up, um, I forgot that I had uh, got my kids the heart balloons that you blow up. And um, so I ended up just getting these uh, for our, our house now for like decorations. And then I'm going to, you know, I got them their gifts and everything like that. So, um, but I did just get two of these because these are so, these are new to Dollar Tree and these are so adorable. So this is a like dinosaur and he's holding a heart. It is so stinking cute, right? I love this thing so, so much. They had like a bear, no, like a koala bear. They had a bee, they had a puppy, and then they had all the hearts, and then they just had so many to choose from. But there he is, he's so cute. I love the three-dimensional Valentine balloons like this when they look like animals. I think it's so much fun. He's got a little gold, um, little uh, accents on him and hearts and he's just so cute so anyway so I got this one and then I also got this one this one is so pretty this one is like an ombre effect and I've never seen a balloon like this with like an ombre effect so I wanted to show you that do you see how it goes like it's a gradient it's like ombre so um this balloon's gonna just like give me trouble <laughs> through the rest of this video it's gonna just like bounce around everywhere but um, yeah, isn't that so pretty? So they had a lot to choose from this year, a lot to choose from for the hearts. So I just wanna show you that. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick up how it's like three different, it's like goes from like light pink all the way down. It's like almost like a coral all the way down to like red and then pink again. It's so pretty. So Dollar Tree is the place to go for balloons, for sure, for, um, you know, um, the holidays or the um you know different uh i'll put it in my desk here it, the different like birthdays and anniversaries are always a great place to get um you know like graduation always a great place to get balloons there so let me go ahead and i'm just going to tie it up to my calculator here so you guys can see it while i'm doing this video because they're so cute right okay so i got those so I'm going to have a little bit of a rough time here. These, I, I did get balloon weights. I just didn't bring them up here with me. That would have been very helpful if I had balloon weights. Okay. I'll try it one more time. If not, oh, I know what I'll do. I'll, I'll just do this. I'll just hold it with my phone. Okay. Is that going to show? Maybe. Okay. Very little, but okay. <laughs> I tried. All right. So the next thing I want to show you guys, you can just see the little bottom of him. Um, let's see if I go like this. Is that better? A little bit better. Okay. So the next thing I now would be knocking into them when I'm like moving around. Okay. So let's go on with the haul. So I did pick up. So I wanted to get, um, I picked these up, not for my dogs, but for like, uh, like I mentioned before, like if one of us is sick in the house, it's nice to put these on the floor or in the bathroom. Um, so you know, like if we have like the flu, knock on wood, we haven't gotten the flu, but these are just really great to have beside you if you're feeling sick. Um, so yeah, so these are extra large ones and these are a three pack each. So I just picked up two of those. So I got those. Then, um, because we're still painting, um, I needed to get some more paint brushes. So I did buy the uh, three pack of the tool bench, three piece um, little, Paint brushes. These are pretty good. I've used them before. I mean, I did pick up a pack of like paint brushes and stuff from Lowe's when we started this project behind me. But um, you know, I we always seem to need paint brushes when we're you know we need extra when we're painting. So two inch and a half, one and a half inch and a one inch. So got those. Then I also picked up these. I these are repeat buy for me. I always buy these. You guys, I really like these bowls. Um, so I use these. Um, not all the time, but I do like them a lot. You get a four pack and they kind of look like crystal. I, I just really like these bowls a lot. So I'll show you. And I've washed them in the wash machine or dishwasher and you know, they have never, they started to crack after a while, but like first couple washes, I didn't have a problem with them cracking. Um, so cause you guys, I don't hand wash anything. I, I just can't hand wash. I, I just, it's hard for me <laughs> to hand wash. So here is one of them by themselves. It's plastic wrap, pretty good. Here we go. There's one of them by itself. So 
Yeah, so I got those. Then I picked up more dry erase markers. They did not have the like normal, uh, you know, standard black, red, blue ones, but they did have the color ones. So I thought these would be fun for my kids to have for school uh, to change it up a little bit if it's allowed for like Zoom classes. Um, so I did pick up, just to have extras too, because like I said, we, sometimes my kiddos forget to put the caps back on them and then they dry out and then we need another dry erase marker. So you get yellow, orange, blue, and pink. So I did get those. And these are like a smaller tip too. These are the pointed tip, more like, not like the um, bigger ones with like the, you know, thicker tips. So this is nice too, because it's kind of like a different, you know, you get like a different type of, um, it's just a different type of writing, you know, it's like a, a, like it says, a smaller pointed tip. Okay, smooth writing, yeah, low odor. Okay, then I picked this up for my son for one of his Valentine gifts. Isn't that so cute? He loves dinosaurs. So I did grab this for him. It's one of those projector projection lights. You know, these things don't like, they're not super, super bright. Like they don't light up a whole wall, but they are really cute. They do have like a little spotlight on the wall and it's a cute little scene. So they had several to choose from, but I ended up getting just the dinosaur one for my son. So I'm gonna throw this into his Valentine bag and he'll think it's fun. He'll think it's fun. So then I also picked up two more satin pillowcases. So I did get those. Because you know I bought those um, cooling um, blank, or blankets, uh, pillows from Walmart like a few days ago. And you guys, I love those pillows. So yes, I, has, I really, really like those pillows. Um, I'll try to include that video in the back of this haul um, if you want to see that video. So what I realized is that um, they those pillowcases or pillows worked best with our satin pillowcase covers because I feel like you can feel the coolness of those pillows versus if you have like a thick cotton pillowcase, you don't feel the, the coolness. So I just picked up two more and these are um, silky satin material and uh, I don't think they're truly satin. I think they're more polyester, but they were, they're comfortable. I like these a lot. So um, yeah, I just picked up, it, it's a 20 inches by 30 inch pillowcases. They do come in black. They come in like a really pretty, like burgundy and like white. They have a red one, I think. I can't remember if it was red. They have a couple different um, prints to choose from, but I picked up white because I can just throw this in with my other laundry. Like I always worry if I like get red and I throw it in with my like, you know, um, light colors that like make all my colors red or all my clothing red in my wash. So I just need like less things to worry about. So I just got white. So I can just throw those in with all my other laundry. You know what I mean? I did pick up this. This is new. It's a birthday banner. It's new at least at me, my DT. It says happy birthday. And this will be for one of my daughter's birthday um, decorations. It's a really pretty minimalistic um, style banner. And I think it's really gorgeous with the gold uh, lettering. And so there it is. Happy birthday. So I did get that. And it comes with a little cord. It's like perfect. You know what I mean? I love it. So they got that. And then, oops. Then um, I did for their uh, Valentine bags. I did pick up these for my girls. I have no idea what these are. They're called Moj Moj. So soft, so cute, so Moj. And I guess they're like little, it's blind bags. I don't know what's in it. Uh, but they had them in different color packagings. They had gold and I think blue, but I chose pink for Valentine's Day. So I thought these are really cute. It says 95 plus, so to collect, let's see, and trade. Um, I am guessing there's like 95, one, 95 choices or um, things you can get. I guess they look like probably something in there, like this picture. So I did grab three of them for my three daughters. So there we go. Then, okay, so, oh, I grabbed these for, um, you know, for my kids, you know, um, mouthwash cups. So we have a little, like, uh, mouthwash cup dispenser thing, and I need to, like, you know, I put them in there like that. I just needed to replace them. We were running low. So um, my kids prefer the Dixie cups versus these. Um, one of my daughters says it kind of tastes waxy. So these are just like backups until like I can, um, I need to order the Dixie ones. You know what I mean? The Dixie cup ones. So, um, but these work just fine, but these aren't as nice as, you know, the Dixie cup ones. So 
But like I said, I, you know, she uses them right now and like I just have to order more from Target or Walmart of the Dixie Cups. So um, yeah, nothing wrong with them. It's just she prefers the Dixie Cups. Okay, now I'm going to be doing a Easter Christmas tree, I think, this year because I never took down, <laughs> being honest, I never took down my, I took down all my trees but my um, white flocked one, it's still up. I took all the ornaments off. So it's just basically a white flocked Christmas tree six feet tall and it's in our like near our entryway and all the like um so all that's left is on it is purple and white lights and again all the ornaments are off the tree toppers off so it's just a beautiful like elegant tree i think it looks beautiful in my entryway and so i'm gonna make it an easter tree i think this year i really think if it turns out if not i'll put the tree away um <laughs> but um i so i ended up getting a couple ideas for my tree so I almost want to show you this. I almost forgot. I did get more chapstick. So I picked up two. I was looking for the three pack because a lot of times this comes in a three pack, but this time I can only find the two pack. So now for the tree topper, I found this adorable. Oh my gosh. Isn't this so cute? An Easter bunny like face. And I thought that would be so cute as a tree topper. This one also comes in pink in the store. But um, I think he's so cute. Uh, so if I'm going to put him, you know, on the top as like my tree topper, like I mentioned. And if it looks good, it'll work. I have another tree topper I bought just in case this doesn't work. But I think it's so pretty. Again, it's glitter. And you guys know I don't really love glitter for like, because I hate when glitter falls down like this. It's like, ah, it makes me anxious because I don't like glitter all over the place. But it is so pretty. It is so, so pretty, right? So um, I wanted to try it, to try it out. So if not, I can use it for like in a wreath, you know, that type of thing. It's really gorgeous, you know. So we got that. I'm going to put that back in the bag. Now, let's see. We also got, I picked up some more of the styrofoam plates. So I picked up three packs of those. You get 30 in each pack. Did get those. Then I also got this, you guys. This is so cute. I buy this every year, but this is so cute. It's a felt bunny garland. It's eight pieces, and I believe it's six feet long. It is so cute. So look at the little bunny tails on each of the pieces. It is so darling. Like, you know, it just really is. I'll go ahead and open it up. A felt bunny garland with pom-pom, eight pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and um, open it up. I'll probably put this, I mean, I could put it in my tree, technically, but I think I'm going to put it, like, on my, um, isn't that so cute, on my fireplace mantle, you know, the ledge there. So here we go. Let's get an idea. Isn't that so cute? You can see, I think they're backwards. You can see the little bunny tails on this side. Isn't that so cute? So some of them are turned backwards, but look at the purple one. They're such beautiful, like pastels and fuchsia and like teal blue or green. Really great color combinations as well, but isn't that so precious? I love that. So <laughs> let me move these balloons over a little bit. Okay, so I did get that. I'm excited about that. These would be even cute on my Christmas tree if I took the string off and just like set them in my Christmas tree as like ornaments. It would be really cute as, as well. So there's that. And then I also picked up um, these to put in my girls' Valentine bags. I'm just going to cut them up, like cut up the, you know, foam and just like divide it in between the, my three daughters. These are just fun. You know, I know it's like costume jewelry. It's cute. They're like plastic. You know, they're not going to last very long, but it's cute to wear like on Valentine's Day. I think they're so much fun. And you get um, 12 pieces. So I like them a lot. I think they're really, really cute. So I got those. And then I picked up one thing of dental floss for me. So just got that. And then let's move on. I have two more bags. You guys, this is a big haul. Like this is a big haul. <laughs> so I just, too many cute things there. Okay, so. I did pick up, oops, I did pick up two of these. My daughter already started playing with my cat with the other one. So I did pick up this exact duplicate of this one today. So I got two total. And it's just a cat teaser wand, it's called. And they're really, this is such a great value, especially because these sell at Walmart and other places for like 
two or three dollars and so for Dollar Tree that's a great great deal and they have like a little bell on them and really fun for the cats to play with so got that then I picked up this for possibly the tree topper he is so cute and vibrant look at how orange bright orange that carrot is and I think he'd be so cute sitting on top of the tree because he's like super like bright and like fun. And um, and if not, I could again use him in like a wreath or whatnot, but he's super adorable, right? And um, I love that really bright orange carrot. And he has whiskers and I love that gingham ribbon. So cute. So this was a really good value for this one. Really, and it says Easter on it. So super cute, and here's the back, the, like the way the frame is. But yeah, super cute, right? And the little ears. So I love him, he is darling. I also picked up another dry erase board for my kids just to have for Zoom class in case one gets misplaced, um, so that type of thing. So a dollar, and it comes with the dry erase marker and eraser, so that is a really good value. It comes in purple at the store, I think, and pink, a couple other colors. I found this over in the you know school supply section, uh, but a really great deal on that. Then I found this for my son for his Valentine bag. He is... My son is like, uh, not to be, to brag, but he is so smart and he is building his own, com on his, he has a computer game where he's able to build, uh, planes and anything architectural. Like he's building, um, he just built a, uh, like two planes and he, in he completed the interiors and everything in, in a car. He made a car and he made it run and work on the computer game. I mean, he's like, He's only six years old, so um, I want to encourage that. So um, I bought him another plane to have like on his desk. This is a, and it's red for Valentine's Day. I thought that was so cute. So I did pick him up another one of these. So I thought that was really, really cute for him just to throw in his little bag. So like I said, he can put that on his desktop and look at it when he's modeling his planes on his computer that he can like use this as reference as well. So it's just like a little model, you know, and it's a die cast metal and plastic and really, really cute. All right, I did find these. These are so adorable. Okay, you guys, these are so cute for Valentine's Day. These are chocolate scented bears. Oh my gosh. So they are so cute and they totally smell like, I mean, they do they smell 100% like chocolate? No, but they smell really good. They smell like sweet and kind of a little bit like chocolate. They're really cute and the idea is super cute. And it's got little like, um, they're just really cute, you guys. I cannot pass this up. And for a dollar, that is such a cute idea. And they do smell really good. Um, almost like, like chocolate, like a little bit, not vanilla, but just basically chocolate. But I got a total of three of the pink ones. Isn't that so cute for my three daughters? So darling. And then um, I picked up the brown one for my son. And again, he is also a chocolate scented one and he has red accents all over him. But yeah, he smells really good. It's It does smell really good, like candy. It's so cute. And there's the back of them, but yeah. Isn't that fun, you guys? I was like, this is perfect to put in their uh, Valentine bag. I had to like kind of dig for these. They were inside the um, stuffed animal boxes. So um, they had a bunch of different ones to choose from. So if you're there, there are some that are not scented. They have like dogs, they have, um, I think the monkeys that like have Velcro on the arms, lots to choose from. But I wanted the ones that scent smelled like chocolate. So anyways, that is gonna be so fun, right? I think they're gonna enjoy that. I think that's so cute. I'm so excited that I found those. That was a fun find today. Okay, one more bag to go through. Actually, two more bags. <laughs> two more bags. This is a huge haul. This was a huge haul. So anyways, um, that's why I'm probably, if, if the video turns out, I might make that a different video. Because like I said, this video is already kind of getting long. You know what I mean? So like I said, I have to go, I haven't even watched back that video if it, is good like quality of me videoing then I will definitely do another video to show you guys some of the cute stuff at uh, Dollar Tree okay because 
you know, that's why I like to take you guys along with me when I videotape to show you all around the stores. When I can, I like to do that. So I did pick up the hanging decoration for one of my daughter's birthday. Her birthday's in June. Isn't this cute? I found this over in the party section. This is something new. I thought this would be cute to, sur to surprise her and hang it on her door um, for her birthday. And here is what it looks like hanging up. But it's really cute. It's got like a little spring thing on it. Super fun, right? I always decorate their um, doors for each, you know, season. So I got that one. And then I also picked up two rugs. Two rugs. So I love these rugs at Dollar Tree. So, um, yeah. So I just picked up two more of these rugs. If you can see. But yeah, they're kind of like ribbed. And so I picked up a total of two. And there's the back. All right. And then the size on this one is 15.7 um, inches by 23.7 inches. So I did get that. Then I picked up these signs. Okay. These are so cute, right? Like so cute. So it says Happy Easter. He's got like a jute twine right here. Happy Easter. Um, I did notice that they had some of them just like this, but some of them didn't have like a white, uh, part of the bunny. I think they were missing the paint. Uh, it was so cute. I just think it was like not finished all the way. I don't know. Maybe it was supposed to be like that. Anyways, all the eyes that I found on the bunnies were, their eyes were like kind of squished a little bit, like the plastic part, but it's okay. Cause it's far away and where I'm going to put it, nobody will be able to see that they're kind of bent or, um, pushed in. So this will be by my front door outside. I thought this was really, really cute. Really, really cute for a dollar, right? And it totally reminds me of like Hobby Lobby style, like of their decor or Michael's. So anyway, happy Easter. He's got his little feet and he's got glitter on him and he's super adorable. So and here's the back side. It's just plain, but the raffia bow and everything. Wouldn't that just be such a cute little greeter by your front door? I think it's so cute. Just like leaning against like, you know, like a planter or whatever. I'm going to do that. I think it's going to be so cute. And then I picked up one more. So I have a total of two. Yeah, I thought they were just too, too cute. And actually the feet have like little, little glitter on them. So yeah. So really cute, huh? Really cute. I'm excited. I really hope they come out with like Easter rugs like they did for Christmas. Oh my gosh. I had so much fun with those Christmas rugs. I'm like really hoping they come out with like Easter rugs. I was hoping they would come out with the Valentine rugs and I never ever saw them. All right. The last bag I'm really excited about because I bought for my Val or for my Easter uh, Christmas tree, um, I bought um, lots and lots of the tinsel garland, but these have bunnies all over them and they have Easter eggs they're holding. It is so adorable. Look at that. I'll go in closer so you can see the detail on these little guys. So it actually will look like ornaments hanging off these, you know, on the tree. I think it's so fun. So I got a couple of these. Um, these are six feet long. So I technically didn't need to buy as many as I did. Uh, but I can always put them around a doorway or, you know, if I have extra or save them for next year. But I did get two of the pink. I did get two of the pink. And again, I'll go closer so you can see the eggs and the bunnies. So cute. Perfect for Easter. And then I picked up the, this one because it reminded me of Easter grass. Isn't that so fun? And, you know, just like that Easter grass that goes in the Easter baskets. And then the eggs on it are so cute, the little zigzag Easter eggs. So this will probably go on the same tree, I'm thinking, just to like, again, um, add some color, make it very Eastery. But look at how cute those are, right? So cute. I'm so loving these. Look at together. Oh, so cute. So I'm trying to see, make sure you guys can see all the little decorations on there. And then I got another one. And then I got this one. I had to, did I get two of these as well? You guys, I was like, <laughs> I got, I got two of these as well. I literally, 
went cray cray on the garland but i could not help it you guys these little chicks on here are so cute i hope the camera's picking them up they are so cute so i thought this would be really pretty um maybe put this on my um flocked white christmas tree with the green grass one so like make it look like that and then use the pink one around a doorway or i don't know another i have another tree in the garage that is um an Easter tree, like it's pastel, pre-lit, like white, four-foot tree. I can always bring that in. and um, But yeah, this is just too, too cute. I hope, I'm sorry, I hope the camera's showing how cute these little chicks are on there. I really hope so. It is so funny. It's like so cute. Oh, I love it so much. So, like I already have so much Easter stuff, you guys. I don't need any more. But when it's new stuff like this, and this is just going to, you know, just make that tree just pop. Like be so cute. And again, I don't really need ornaments because these hang off of it like ornaments, you know. So I am totally don't need ornaments. So there's that for, so I got two, four, two, let's see, three different types of garland. Okay, so I did get that. And the last thing I picked up is, I think this is the last thing, yeah. This, you guys, isn't this amazing? It's Glitter Table Runner. It's gold, like gold glitter. So I thought this would be perfect to use for um, the leprechaun when he comes and visits on St. Patrick's Day. I'm going to have this out like he left this out for the kids. Um, and then he'll put his little presents on top of this. But isn't that so fabulous? I couldn't believe I found that. This was over in the party section. This is, you know, over by like the birthday supplies, not near the St. Patrick's Day stuff. This is six inches by 48 inches. Super, super cute. See that gold? And they had two different shades of gold. So I, I had to get this. I thought that was so cute. And actually it's called the Glitter Table Runner. You can see the little balloons on there for like a party. So yes. So yeah, you guys, I think that's it for my... Um, my, what was it? Where was I going with this? <laughs> my Dollar Tree haul. Yeah. Um, and also I forgot I have a necklace. I did not show you guys that I got at Kohl's. So I will include that in my next haul. Um, I had, a, I got that beautiful, like bleated, uh, beaded, not bleated, beaded black Vera Wing, um, necklace from Kohl's. I, it was in a, a little bag inside those bags I was showing you. So I totally missed it, but I didn't want to show you that. So next haul, I'll show you that as well. But I hope you guys did enjoy this huge Dollar Tree haul. Um, this came to, I think was about 48, $49 after everything so it was a pretty good size haul this time so anyways all right friends so um again i may include the video beforehand or maybe on another uh in the next day or so i'll try to include that video if it turns out again and um if you're new to my channel i would love if you would subscribe in my returning family thank you guys once again so so much for being here so with that being said i'm going to go ahead and close this video for now but have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you back here tomorrow with my next talk all right, friends, till next time, everybody, take care, God bless, and I'll see you soon. Bye now.